a custom room with a lot of improvements as you can see new boot animation and we are talking about project blaze a lot of new things are included in this new update some of the things are so good some of the things might not be but still it could be a good choice for you if you are looking forward to a custom room we have installed project blaze and the version is 3.2 android 14 of course and it is also updated to the latest security patch of april 2024 or you can say it's based on the latest qpr update unlike some other custom rooms where we have some bugs for now i did not found any bug yet at least to be honest with you at least for my my device things might be different in your case take a look at the settings ui it's a card style ui like in some custom rooms uh, we have a different kind of different sort of ui available card style ui is one of the ui in custom rooms which looks quite good if it is implemented well take a look at some of the useful things firstly if you take a look at in ime space we finally have this option available i remember last last time when i made video on this custom room i said that this feature is unfortunately missing from this custom room and it's now added so all credits goes to the developers as you can see we have this option available and this actually looks so good sometimes if this feature is not available in a custom room i usually use a module for that kernel su module or magisk module but it's available by default so you will not face you will not get any space below keyboard if you enable that option another great thing about this custom room is the android 11 style quick settings panel yes it's available in some other custom rooms already but one of the best thing is that we have the option to switch between android 11 style quick settings panel or android 14 style quick settings panel by just one click as you can see if i choose android 14 style all the options below this are disabled and you can choose between android 14 style or android 11 style and you can even further customize it so that's one of the great things about this one or of course you can change the quick setting tile shapes i just used another custom room yesterday it was good but it was not having the option to switch between a uh, quick settings uh, quick switch between android 11 or android 14 style quick settings panel you have to adjust rows and columns in most of the cases but in this case you don't need that another thing is island notification island notification is also implemented in this custom room already i'm not exactly sure how many of you use or love this feature because personally speaking i love retigger notifications more than this notification ui but it's kind of okay and this could be user specific take a look at some of the options we have some spoofing options available unlimited photo storage higher fps in games and netflix spoof which is literally same like other custom rooms uh, other spoofing options like snapchat spoofing or even the play integrity kind of things are not present here those are missing and if you take a look at this ignore windows secure flags that's present here one feature which i found right now which is missing from here is the hide developer status that could be quite useful because i found that in some of the custom rooms that was good another thing which is so good and i remember last time when i made video on this custom room this thing was missing was a logo logo was already there but of course we are using project blaze so the logo from project blaze it's finally present here so which means if you enable this uh, your custom room will automatically be identified with that which custom room you are using if you share a screenshot and this is a very useful thing it should be present in every custom room to get to know that which thing which custom room you are using of course it should be device specific or it should be user specific or user's opinion but i think so it's not a bad thing to be enabled in a custom room else we have similar kind of things like theming options a similar kind of options like custom on it so you can choose your own colors in case you don't want wallpaper based theming it's totally up to you including this fonts options are present font applying ui is still same i mean this is the ui which have by default in some custom rooms we have different sort of ui with the preview but in this case preview is not present here but kind of things uh, you might get new update very soon and things will be changed there Signal icons, Wi-Fi icons, brightness, slider styles and data icon styles. Everything which is present in all the custom rooms right now are present here in this case too. 
By the way, brightness light styles, there are many options available. The one which I have applied right now is leafy outline. This looks good. And we also have some options like minimal thumb, which looks nice too. It could be user specific. But one thing which is so amazing is the rounded clip. It gives you the vibes of, I guess, MIUI or you can say real MIUI. I'm not exactly sure, but this is how the UI is looking like. So a lot of brightness slider styles are available. And if one of the features not present in your case, you can try out icon module for that and enable all these features on a device if you use pixel based which means if you are using google apps version of this custom room you will get pixel launcher pre-installed but if you use vanilla version you will get launcher 3 so it depends which version which variant you are using but other than else one more thing which is missing from here is in the security and privacy options you will see there is no option for app lock unfortunately app lock is not present here and i believe that with the next update next month you will get app locker i'm not exactly sure how many of you use app lock but if it is not present here i just wanted to let you know Wallpapers and style also have some wallpapers, uh, some pre-installed wallpapers of this custom room. If you take a look at the project Blaze wallpapers, we have around eight wallpapers available. The one which I have applied is the blue one, looks good. We have uh, some interesting wallpapers available, like this is the one which I loved a lot actually. Just enable this, click on set wallpaper, home and lock screen, or you can choose for only lock screen, only home screen, etc. And this is it. So these were the things I just wanted to let you know. If you want to install this custom room, if you want to know more about this custom room, the link for the website is already available in the description and you can check it out. This is all. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care.